Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Finally done with all these ghosts and spooky spirits, it's time to get back to business. Oh. So, yeah, H here's your diary. Never read it. Can't prove anything. God, if, if only there was like a temp save where it knew you read the diary. I get the feeling you read my diary, but it looks unopened, so we'll go with it. But it says that, yeah, you would have died, but... Oh, do you ever get the feeling that you just, like, died in the last episode? Man, that's weird. Goodbye! Or... <laughs> you just gonna chill here? <laughs> I, I mean, I paid a lot of money for this cabin. I might as well just, you know, get the most out of it. And just continuously paying for this cabin, like... What's the daily rate for this... For specifically four. Oh, uh, I just understood why he's in room four. Because he's dead? Yeah, isn't four uh, one of the evil numbers in Japan? Uh, in China, I know for certain, like, four means death. Compared to eight, which is a lucky number. Well, then who's in room eight? Uh, just just imagine if all of these room numbers had meaning. Ro room 8 is the Babam family. Hmm. Well, I mean, they made their riches in the oil field, so maybe they are lucky. Maybe they won the lottery. They got lucky. Okay. Sold all their stocks to Bowser Incorporated. Well... We're about done with everything we need to do here, so uh, let's just go to bed. Wait, really? Yep. Day's done. Oh. Wow, what a day! Ugh. What a day it was. Ugh, go ahead and uh, stretch my legs, have Yoshi run a few laps so he actually gets tired and goes to sleep. Yes, I still see that shine sprite. Yes, we are going to get it, I promise. <laughs> Seven episodes from now. Like, it's it's staring me right in the face! Come on! <laughs> I hate it when that happens. It's, it's, it's right there! What are you doing past me? It's right there! <laughs> Open your eyes! Come on! Oh, hey! An emil! I always get the D-pad buttons mixed up. I always go to the wrong one. Ah, RDM issue 5. Rogue port today. Local mystic Merluvi, age 25, was taken to the hospital today. Oh no, followed quickly by hordes oh, of no. concerned fans. Luckily, according to a spokesperson for the hospital, Merluvi, more uh, suffered from nothing more than a severe case of indigestion caused by a wild binge on eight shroom steaks. Whoa! Uh, a divine diviner exclaimed that her aura was brimming with the power of steak, but this reporter can't help but wonder why she failed to predict the, ga the gastrointestinal adventure in the first place. Well, whatever. Shop reporter, go! This time let's head to Keel Hall Galleria! We are proud to toast the entrepreneurial spirit shown by the uh, managerial team who brought free commerce to this deserted island. I really wanted to do something that had never been done, gushed the unsinkable proprietor and former fight fan. So call me the Invincible Shopmaster from now on. I'm 100% serious. Print that. We wish him all the success <laughs> that he could grab with two hands and wrestle to the mat. Cooking for rookies. Oh, it's not rookies because here's another intermediate level recipe. Today's dish is the single serving peach tart. What? Take a peachy peach, add cake mix, stir, and bake. Try that at tea time, rookies. It seems it doesn't too seem simple. that hard. No. I mean, you just take peaches and then cake mix and you just stir I, it and then ew. throw it in the oven and. I look, I made a cake for everybody! Oh, imagine, like, like cutting into a cake and it's just straight peach on the inside. Surprise peach. Well, 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 I'm a, I'm a pie guy, so that doesn't seem too bad. Okay. Oh. Oh, a new case has it. Ooh. Ah, Mr. Businessman. Uh, it's it's a salaryman, actually. This is a Japanese game. <laughs> You 
You know, in the large UDJ cinematic universe, I'd like to think all the games you've played all interconnect with one another. So this is one I of have the a cinematic universe. This is one of the uh, our video game universe. This is one of the salary men that was drunk at the beginning and ending of NG. H how did it begin? Did I just stand in front of a group of, of reporters and go, "I am UDJ"? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and then it ended with a snap. Oh shit, now we need to find you a game where you just snap and the entire video ends. I feel like the UDJ cinematic ver uh, universe should be palindromic, so for like the final let's play I ever do, it should just be... I don't know... My first episode backwards. Maybe it'll just be palindromic in the game you play. Like, it'll start with Goemon and then it'll end with Goemon. You know? I kind of like that idea of having, like, the finale be episode one, and then it just goes backwards. You're playing backwards until you reach 0% completed. I start with the finale, and I just keep going backwards. Oh my god, that sounds interesting. Hmm. Keep that in the back burner. Save that for the 20-year anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> to the 20-year anniversary, when I'm 75 and you're somehow 67. How did you get older than me? Oh, yeah, hyperbolic time, uh, time chamber. That's yep, right. The time paradox and all that. You, yeah. you know how it is. So, we got stolen uh, documents. <gasps> were they business related? I bet they were. What they are is not important. The fact is, they shouldn't go into the wrong hands. Oh, okay, so their plans to make a missile made of coins! I gotta tell you, having Yoshi to run around on is just the best. Uh, a note! A vital paper! Oh my god. It's... it's the launch codes! I was right! No! Maybe it's a misspelled menu. It's actually a vital paper. It's actually how to get 99 lives in Super Paper Mario. Ooh, give me that, give me that. A game that hasn't come out yet. <laughs> Just by this timeline, I should say. Well, Metal Gear Solid 3 had a secret code for Metal Gear Acid, which didn't come out for like another year. Oh, that's a good point. So here, look at this paper. <laughs> here you go. It's a vital document. It has the Konami code on it, and the, your GameCube just explodes. Well, I guess technically Twin Snakes was on GameCube, so never mind. This character is really wearing all his welcome. <sighs> yeah, Zip Toad, the uh, popular actor celebrity guy who wouldn't sign autographs for anybody who's not female. Mm -hmm. he, uh, why does he have this important incriminating contract? Mm hmm. Hmm. I said, hmm. Blackmail, maybe? Or maybe he's somehow involved. By Jove, I think you might be onto something! It's elementary, my dear Watson. Well, actually, really not. It's kind of more complicated. It's more complicated than that, so, uh, intermediate, my dear Watson. High school, my dear Watson. <laughs> College grade calculus, my dear Watson. Watson's just sitting there dreading the next problem to come up. Graduate level, my dear Watson! <laughs> Graduation, my dear Watson! Congratulations, you solved the case! I just asked him how his day was, and he handed me a diploma. I, I, I don't know what... <laughs> Please, can you... Another me? paper! Oh god, I'm the culprit! Ah! That shine sprite's the culprit! It's because you didn't pick it up, dude! The suspect must be in here somewhere. Is it you, Yoshi? Or is it the side spread that I think I just saw? <laughs> and I'm like, oh god, how yes! long has that been there? I'm yes! gonna rip myself a new one when I get to talking over this. Aha! I knew he was involved. 
Aha! Just... <laughs> I was actually waiting for Yoshi to say, The culprit might be in here! Take a look over there! And it's just Mario looking in the mirror. I mean, he saw me sink into the floor, so... Get back here. Get, get back here. Ah, there you go. Got him. Mystery solved. And so ends another day on the Molentary Express. Again, this guy is really wearing out his welcome. I, I just made to shut the fuck up already. You're not funny. It's not... You know, maybe we should take this time to think of different ways to include Mario naming conventions into different games. Like I just thought of the Monty Molentary Express. Oh, Professor Layton and Mario together. Finally, now Layton can get in Smash Brothers. Maybe the Hounds of Dark World? Hmm. Super Although a Mario Mystery uh, series, I think they go over pretty well. That'd be cool. Aha! This is this is everything that was stolen by people, or got stolen from. Yeah. Oh my God! Are you like four million dollars in debt to different countries, dude? I think it's just a fucking kleptomaniac. He stole a briefcase. He stole a gold ring. He stole some earrings. I don't get you, man. What's with, what's with that? You're already a Hollywood elite. Why do you need to steal things? Oh. A body has been discovered! Oh, we made it. No, we haven't. We've oh. reached the halfway mark. Oh, the chapter's almost over then. But the bridge is up. Well, that doesn't help. The cops are just waiting for him as soon as he Wait, steps slick. out. Slick! Wait a minute! Oh no! No. It's stupless! Uh oh. Gooify! <laughs> the goo! Ah, oh, the goo. Well, we do know the Shade Sisters are definitely on to us. Mario hmm. has made so many enemies in such a short time. Imagine if he went after the Dragon Balls, he'd make the enemies of people from other planets. Oh god. Well, you know, we're actually going to a bunch of different locations. Maybe there are secret hidden Dragon Balls all over the place. Just need the scouter. Or, sorry, the uh, scanner. I've always wondered, what if you, like, collected all these different artifacts of power from different anime and pieces of literature? Like, you get the seven Dragon Balls, you get the seven Crystal Stars, you get the seven Chaos Emeralds. Triple seven, we are the luckiest hero in the universe, and we just turn into God. You unlock the 13 Talismans from Jackie Chan. Dude! Man, that was a great show. <laughs> Why did it stop? You unlock the mastery of all four elements, and... You learn oh, Mar Hokuto Mario. <laughs> you learn Hokuto no Shinken. <laughs> Mario the Airbender, I can just see it now. Is that every chapter gives you a, a crazy, unbelievable god power, and then by the end you take on the universe itself? Dude. If it if Mario had an arc that built up like Gorin Logon did, I would love to see Mario dropkick Mario Galaxy. There, we've given back the things that were stolen, we got some prizes for it, and now it's time for the bulk of this episode. Oh. Oh my god, <laughs> that guy! I forgot about that guy in the background! <laughs> hey, look at that barber there, looks like a candy cane! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that guy. I love that guy. It's like the Snorlax of the Mario universe. He wears overalls because he can't wear the normal toad clothes. <laughs> he probably ate them. 
I like he always has spoon and fork at the ready any time. Oh, I mean, you gotta be ready if a walking radish walks by. You just, like, yoink mine. Don't you have a knife, dude? No way! Why would I want to have a knife when I can get everything in just one bite? Or, you know, super move, puts fork on spoon, creates spork, takes out knife, ready. Don't know why I did that. But you were at full health. I was at full health. That was just 15 coins pissed away because I'm part of the elite now! Money means nothing to me! <laughs> he stole it all from the movie star. So, if you didn't catch that, the bridge is up. We'd rather it not be up. Let's make it so that we can put the bridge down. And I thought Pennington was going to accompany us this whole time, but nope, it's, it's just... Going around and doing our own thing. Okay. Well, that's all right. Th this just gives me uh, more opportunities to check out the pricings on the Thousand Year Door on eBay. My God, nobody knows how to sell a complete game anymore. So the bridge switch is down there. We need the elevator key. We don't have the elevator key. Let's go find the elevator key. I know I never use her, but it says nothing tells Flurry! me. Yeah, Finally! Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there geez. we go, look at that. Wait, did that do anything? Oh, it did I do don't... something, I see it now. It barely does anything, I mean. Oh, you know, we gotta make it work. That's a giant peel-away piece of wall. There we go. I gotta and get now... in there somehow. Blow. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait. Uh yeah. Really? Yeah. Come on, come on. Really? Uh, okay, maybe not. No, it should this be... This one never use you, Flurry. You're useless! Oh, stop. It's over there. It's over there. It's over there. The wall. Peel away the wall. Aha, uh -huh. I see. There you go. Gonna get some new enemies. Let's get Gumbel out. I'm supposed to roll underneath! Oh, really? Oh, that wasn't a peel-away wall. That was just a piece of the poster. <laughs> God. She had a chance to be useful, and she blew it. Oh! 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 Nothing takes the wind out of your sails, me bucko. I'm just blowing hot air. You know, that joke went over my oh. head. Whoosh! That was fast! Yeah, these guys are fast. What are we dealing with? They're oh, clouds, so they're probably assholes. They're electric type. Rough puff. Oh my god. You know, I could see that as being sold as a children's toy. <laughs> New from Mattel, Rough Puff. He does underground fighting arenas, but he's also nice to cuddle with. Rough puff, is that like steel wool? Oh, it's almost number 69 in the Pokedex. Aha! <laughs> oh my god! I just thought of something. You know what? I am going to look up specific Pokemon numbers, and I want to see if you know them. Uh, if it's anything above 300, you can, you can forget about it. Tell me, what is Pokemon number 69? Fuck, I don't know. Bell sprout. Oh. <laughs> it has a mouth made for. Never mind. <laughs> it's the perfect Pokemon! But now, here's the complicated one. Which one is Pokemon 420? Oh, I, I looked it up. And I, yeah. I, I forget. <laughs> Cheruby! I don't know. Grind up a cherry Pokemon and then. Ah, Cheruby, my favorite strain. <laughs> it's medicinal. Oh, can... can Cheruby learn Absorb or any other healing powers? I've just got Pokémon on the brain. I have to play the experience. I don't know why we're playing a Mario game. Is it because it's an RPG? <laughs> uh, mainly. And also, this is still my first time, but you were doing random battles, so I figured... Let's get something in the interim. It's not that random! We're getting experience, dude! 
Well, pardonnez-moi. Besides, this is one of those rare RPGs that has the ever-wonderful thing of platforming. In a game that doesn't really do a whole lot of platforming, oh. it, it's, this requires you to be really exact, so yay! Here we fucking go! <laughs> I get a feeling this is your favorite part of Mario RPG so far. Hey, actually, that was that was pretty good. There's been some moments where I've been like, oh, yeah. Like this. This is kind of dickish. Oh, really? Yeah. I gotta get oh. up there. And there's, there's the key, which I assume will take me to the... Uh, the elevator. Mm. I don't like that. No, wait, it, it opens that locked door. Yeah. Well, this doesn't look too bad. Now you just need to get Yoshi. And if you mess up, well, you're just a failure. Oh, no! Okay. Almost. Damn it. Nah. Can never get the jumping right. <sighs> and I know everybody out there is screaming at me the answer. Because I'm going to tell you right now, we don't need Yoshi! We need Flurry, because of course. I think we could have used Coops there. Oh yeah, you're right! So that was a skill run right there. Oh, uh, look at you showing off. This is the best Let's Play. <laughs> the, the best one. Oh, come on, don't give yourself an awkward cough. I've enjoyed myself. I've been really... Like considering doing side quests, but you know, uh, I'm I'm kind of overpowered. I don't really need to right now. I mean, I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. Everybody, get this video to 10,000 likes, and we'll release part 32. When you get to 10,000 likes, I'll retire. <laughs> Just for one video. Uh, how many views does it have? 10,000. You keep you, you, know you keep what? the likes at 9,999, and then I'll keep going. Ooh, that would be interesting. You can only have 999, or sorry, 9,999 likes. Who will be the one who ends my career? Who will be the one? <laughs> you create YouTube overflow, you can't have more than 9,999. <laughs> oh yeah, one of my videos is what causes YouTube to go into 128-bit. <laughs> one, of, one of mine, sure, okay. Jesus, we found the kill screen of YouTube, it happened to be UDJ's videos. It was an inevitability, you see. Hmm, sorry, YouTube. Now you answer to me. Ah, come on. So close. So, uh, I don't think I've showed this off yet. Rally Wink! Oh? Basically, what that does... Uh, 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 okay. Oh! Somebody's gonna toss something. They tossed a heart at me. Thank you. Oh. So, uh, what does, what does Rally do? Oh, that was cool. Does Rally Wink do something interesting? It, uh, basically skips Goombella's turn and gives it to Mario. Really? Yes. Okay. Okay, you're throwing a can. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't even see that. Alright. Might as well show it off. Tap A, a little bit of B, and then some more A. There you go. Which means I can do Quake Hammer. Hurt all those guys. Have the thing fall. Hurt them all again. <laughs> and then... Think about doing it again. Oh, okay, that is pretty nice. I, I, I do think it's kind of silly where Goombella is just like slowly walking towards Mario just be like, I'm coming for you. Um, uh, that's, that's okay, Goombella. I, I'm that's, coming for that's, you. That, that's okay. You don't need to. I'll give you a big old kiss. Yeah! Because this game's horny as fuck. Oh, no! I can do oh! that? Oh! Shit! That's a thing? I, I guess. Uh-oh! <laughs> I got nothing that'll really help me. It's, uh, uh, maybe this mystery? Let's try it! Uh. Mystery, go! What? Thank you, that was super helpful. Yay. Thank you. Anyway. Well, let's go with the Quake Hammer again. 
Take out those two, and maybe they'll think twice about uh, bringing somebody back. Nope, doesn't look like it, so we're good. <laughs> what about think twice? Oh, two more pokies! All right, let's do it. Uh, uh, another kid! Get out of here! I still don't know how you're able to see that. I see like, the prompt, and I see what they're trying to throw at me in the audience. And the big bombs are making it hard to see uh, sometimes. Yeah, that's why I can't see it. Also, I would totally miss that prompt at every single time if I were playing this. Have a little more faith in yourself. This is made for kids, after all. Uh, knowing me, being a giant child... Hey, look at that shine sprite! Do you see ah! it this time, UDJ? Okay, yes, I see it. Interesting combo. Ah, uh, thank you, Goombella. Your power is greatly, greatly appreciated. Now, this game isn't going to pull any crap like you power up all of your teammates and then they get taken away forever, right? Taken away forever? Wait, it's like they'll deliberately level down your, your friends and then you can't get, you have to get all the shine sprites you collected in the game again? No, I mean, like, plot relevance. It's like, hey, you, we gave you this awesome character. He's pretty cool. And then uh, we're going to take him away forever. No, nothing like that. As far as I know. Ah! So fast! I'm getting sick of these guys. <laughs> Already! <laughs> Don't water the cactus! <laughs> that pokey just got flash danced. Take him out, Goombella. There you go. There you go. You know... <laughs> I've been playing an RPG of my own lately, and I, I kind of understand your play of not wanting to fight every single enemy that comes your way. What RPG is it? Persona 5 Royal. Oh. <laughs> In one of the last areas, I'm like, should I fight everything? Yeah, I should fight everything. I, I thought it was one of those obscure ones that I don't know about. Like, uh, uh, Atelier, hmm. what, what's its name, or whatever. We're gonna use Art Attack this time. Maybe hey. one day we should do that. We should do one of my uh, stupid, obscure RPGs that nobody's ever heard of except for a very niche group. I do it every Halloween, might as well do it for one of your games, one of your channels now. Yeah, but I, I don't know how much longevity that would have. Like, still, we know. still have time and eternity hanging over our necks. We could do a Tails game. Do one of the good ones, right? Uh, yeah, Tales of Zillia sounds great. I don't know if that's a good one or not. We could do play. Ring Fit Adventure. That'd be good. Tales of Zisteria is a pile of shit. Cool, let's do it. Tales of Graces F. One of the Neptunia games. I'm sure you'll be all over that. Oh, yeah. The Guided Fate Paradox? What the fuck is that? Uh, let's see, what else do I got here? I should probably pay attention to the game, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just blowing away. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, in that case, let, let me check my RPG list. Hmm. Well, that doesn't matter. I, th I thought that there could be more uh, hidden secrets behind all these posters. I'm thinking, wait a minute, I'm recording right now. Nobody wants to fucking see that shit. <laughs> and now we're getting to a, 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 a real great part here. A, great a part. cardboard tube puzzle. Remember in Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 2 uh, where you could turn into a morph ball and it goes into like a 2D perspective and you gotta do like a little platforming section? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the cardboard tube is not a morph ball. I s I'm seeing this. Ah! Why? Right into the garbage. Where this game belongs because Nintendo didn't listen to me. <laughs> it's not for the Switch anymore, so Nintendo might as well put it in the garbage. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the worst part is, is going up these ledges, it's kind of hard to do. And when you go down a slope, it's very hard to go back from rolling down that slope because you have momentum. God! I, I can't <laughs> tell you how many bad takes I heard when 3D All-Stars came out. 
God damn it. They're like, well, well, they were able to emulate a GameCube game on a Switch cart. Bring Thousand Year Door back. Mm -hmm. No, no, get up there. <laughs> Go down uh, here. Yo. Oh, what now? It. Do I fall down here or do I gotta jump? Jump it. Jump it. There's a thing Ooh. over there. A yes, thing. There is. P up, D down. Boost Mario's attack but lowers defense. That's stupid. Why would anybody do know. that? I don't know. Tight situation. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Straight into the garbage. Is there anything over here? No, there isn't. It's a mistake. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh, the, the <laughs> other garbage. Oh, I've got a joke the next time you fall into a trash can. <laughs> Please, get there quickly. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, those hang are... Left. Hang left. Those are old sound effects from the original Paper Mario. There we go. Especially that one. That's the old jump sound effect. Perfect. Hey, you eh, fell into perfect. the Smash Brothers community. Good job. I'm not fighting that thing because I know I'm not going to have much of a way to take it out because it flies. I can't use my hammer and Goombella really can't hit it either. I mean, I guess I could use somebody else, but it's just it's too much of a hassle. Use flurry. Use flurry. I know you want to. Now she she's body slams on them. It's no way they're gonna, she's going to help. It'll blow off the tape. I don't know if Bob. Re oh, no, wait. I guess Vivian could help. She can touch him and all that, so... A with her, Goomba? With her fire. D I, I guess, dude. A Goomba? A Goomba. With, like, what, 2 HP? Yeah. So, something the new Paper Mario does that I really like is uh, when you get to a certain point in the story and uh, you, you know, back you do some backtracking, at some point, some of the weaker enemies will become weak enough that you just hit them with your hammer and they'll just disappear. I love when RPGs do that, where you just run into an enemy, and if you're power, if you're powerful enough, they'll just die. Earthbound did that. Persona 5 Royal did that. A bunch of other games have done that, but not enough RPGs have done that. God damn it! I can just use Quake Hammer, I guess. Just there you go. Wait, Fuck what, off. What, why are we fighting these Goombas? I don't know why they're here. They're Goombas. I think they just needed some monsters to populate here, so we didn't get too complacent. Oh, fake oh, wall. I see fake it. Wall. I see it. If I had Flurry, to look, it's your time to shine! <laughs> hey! Wait, what? Why did that this work? Guy, this, this guy's annoying me. See, again, oh. with Flurry, you gotta sit and you gotta stand in the exact right spot. In order to... It's... 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 It's maddening, I tell you. Oh, oh my god, Flurry gets to fight. No, wait, don't use Quake Hammer! No! Give her time to fight! <laughs> She's only here to demolish walls, and that's it. And uh, I was supposed to do that anyway. Oh. Ten. One. Oh. Uh. Three. One. Ten. One. One. Ten, ten, ten. Three, three, ten, 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 ten. Okay, so there was a hidden code around Once there Once again, somewhere. we didn't need Flurry! Wow. So, how do you find out about that code? I got a feeling it's you hit that one once, you hit that one three times, you hit that one ten times. But is that what you did? I think. Goops. Yeah! So somehow use Flurry for this. <laughs> Ooh. Check it out! Ultra Boots! The hell does that mean? I'll tell you what the hell that means. Toadette, tell us what the hell that means. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. It's nice to see you again. Our jump attack power has gone up. And we can use a new jump technique! <gasps> Check this shit out. Okay. Hold A, rotate the control stick, and then... SPROING! Oh, cool! Yeah. Woo! 
Yo! I like that. We can grab pipes now. Oh, I'm so glad these boots gave us arm strength. Now I've got it. We're going to have a chance to use it here in a little bit. I should hope so. God, imagine if the game gave you an amazing item at the very beginning and said, okay, you can use that ten hours in. Or it doesn't become useful until, like, near the end of the game. It's like, hey, you, you remember that one technique you got in, like, chapter two? Well, now it's, it's time to shine. So, boing. Once again, you're a two-dimensional character in a three-dimensional plane, so... Hey, luckily they those pipes... <laughs> they've got they've got like a little drip marks where the pipe is like supposed to be at. Is that supposed to be like your your guide, I guess? Damn it! I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to try and jump, but what I'm supposed to do yep. yeah, is not boom. that because those things are blocking your way. <laughs> so they're uh, making they're making me go. All Go up here, get Yoshi out. Run over there. And then we can jump and grab on that pipe. Amazing. Oh, hey, Yoshi, Yoshi, Yoshi get it. Could, could you get that for me, dude? Get it! Yeah! Oh, that's what The I'm elevator key, do? finally! Wow. And of course, they're gonna make me jump all the way there. This is amazing. This also makes me realize that I'm about a second behind you. <laughs> I was trying not to say anything, but... <laughs> maybe maybe and... I'll make it work if he doesn't say anything. And he fucking said something. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, you got it. Yes. That's okay. We've just got to... <laughs> we got the elevator key, man. It's great. Run, run, run. For you. I'm, I'm not even dealing with those things. Damn it. Uh, Damn it! <laughs> maybe, maybe I can do this. Hup. Nope. God damn it! Why? Why can't you speak the big cactus out onto the flying thing? Let's get out of here. Try saying that in any other context and see what kind of responses you get. <laughs> Spit out the big cactus into the flying thing. <laughs> ah! No idea what other context you could have for that, and you keep getting hit by these enemies. Stop it! None of this works. I can't do anything. Unless if I switch to Vivian, but I just now figured that out while we were talking here. <laughs> well, th thankfully we're uh, we're bougie Mario now, and we have no need for these coins. We're just tossing out of our pocket. <laughs> yeah. The peasants can have them. I was just thinking you're distracting the enemies by throwing money at them. It's like how rich people think that's how you get uh, people to get away from you. It's like, here, here, have money. Leave me alone. As far as I know, there's no better way to get back to the entrance either. So we got to go the long way again. Well, we got Yoshi to make the trek a little shorter. So is that all we needed to do? Yep, yeah, oh. that's all that's all we're doing today. Okay. Well, actually, I'm going to get this badge first. Oh yeah, cuz we can now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ta-da! Your allies in danger causes foes to sometimes miss. Well, that just sounds like a waste of BP. So, next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we're going to go ahead and use this elevator key, get the bridge up, and uh, continue our journey. See you next time.